This is, this is really as good as new, don't you think? You're a lazy painter, sorry. This is why I need Philip here. But he's too busy. I was too panicked at the beginning of the process and maybe not panicked enough towards the end. Okay. Perfect. Fits like a glove. Um, there's no that one, it's a six pack. It's called a six pack. Yeah. I hurt myself, can you see this? My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau Gonville Saint Fleur. Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. We have four days left before the first guests are coming and stay in the fourth guest room that we are restoring right now. And to say that there is panic at the chateau would be an understatement. The electrics are not finished, we're missing light fittings, we're missing furniture, Anna is still painting, the bath is not restored. We need to install the sink, the toilet. My mom just left so we don't have childcare when there's no school and we finally found a cleaner which makes our life much easier but sorting out a contract in France to employ somebody, as you can imagine, is quite a nightmare. So all in all, an average week at the chateau and I hope you forgive us if this video is a bit rougher than usual. You saw me restoring this bath two weeks ago and many of you asked how it turned out. Well, it's not a disaster, but it's not a total success either because I messed up at least one corner. I reached out to the company, they're really nice and friendly and helpful and they have really good instructions how a professional would do it on YouTube. So if you ever plan to do that, don't watch my video, watch them. And I will link their sites in the description of this video. So my mistake I think was that I was too panicked at the beginning of the process and maybe not panicked enough towards the end. So there shouldn't be any sanding necessary, but if you mess it up like me, you can do it and repair your mistake. I sanded down all the parts where there was too much material, but obviously it's not nice and shiny anymore. And in order to get the shininess back, I need to polish it. And I polish it by using different grain sandpaper, starting with 180, and then it will go up to 2000, 3000. And then at the end, hopefully it looks as shiny as the product itself. Also yesterday, I hurt myself. Can you see this? This was quite painful for men standards. Uh, a planer, and it's been Noir's fault. He gave it to me without warning me. And there's a spinning knife and it works perfectly well on wood. And to my biggest surprise, it also works on skin. So I was holding a piece of wood like this and then I went like this. There was a lot of blood. Uh, my daughters loved it. If you have a tool like this, please be very careful and smart and ask your partner to hold it for you. I'm gonna use some polishing paste. This is originally meant for marble, but I used it on the other bath where I also made a little mistake and it worked really well. Now the shine comes through. <laughs> what do you think? Sanded, polished, for me it's done. It's, it's ready to be painted outside. The inside looks really nice. Given the fact that I had to do some damage control, I think the result 
it's really, really satisfying. And yes, I could have done a better job if I was a bit more focused or more talented or I don't know what, but this is, this is really as good as new, don't you think? I mean, I would love to have a bath in a clean bathtub like that. Unfortunately, I can't afford the horrendous prices of our bed and breakfast, but the service seems to be good. Hello Anna, are you in a hurry? Yes. Why? A little bit stressful. I, I think I have about a day to finish this upholstered bed. It's just so. one bed, so it should be a problem for you. <laughs> I've done it before for the blue room, um, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but you never know. There's always going to be something that's like tricky that you know you didn't expect. It's going to be a straightforward project Anna. You will see no problems at all. <laughs> So I've got my fabric just arrived, so very happy that it's here because I was worried it wouldn't arrive in time. And I also ordered some foam online, some wadding. So my major thing that I know I've got to do, which might be a bit tricky, is I've got to cut the foam to size. Our guests are arriving this weekend, so I've given myself a day to finish this bed because I've still got some painting to finish in the guest room. And you've got lots to do, Philip. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty full on. I've also got curtains to make, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time. The moment of truth. Did I get my measurements correct? Perfect. Fits like a glove. I'm not a professional upholster at all, so I've just kind of learnt by myself using YouTube videos just to kind of figure out how to do it. This is not a masterclass in how to upholster a bedhead, but this worked for me, so I'm just going to use my cotton wadding. It's a little bit like a fabric. I mean, it's not a strong fabric, but I just use that to sort of hold down the wadding in place. I feel like Philip's going to tell me off because I feel like, I feel like it's a bit wonky. Is it a bit wonky? Do I look a bit wonky? This is why I need Philip here. But he's too busy. So sorry if it's not well filmed. He's going to tell me off when he's editing this. He's going to say, what? <laughs> another layer.
You have to know that Nathan is very successful with girls, and I'm sure he's happy to share his secret. Quel est ton secret de séducteur? Mon secret, c'est de savoir cuisiner. Savoir cuisiner. Autre chose? Avoir un regard pensif et perdu. Avoir un regard pensif et perdu. Tu peux me montrer? Comme ça? C'est bon? À peu près. À peu près. Bon, je suis déjà marié, donc ça va. Est-ce qu'il y a autre chose? Ouais. Être sportif. Être sportif? Ouais, mais à certains moments. Ah. Être sportif à un certain moment. Merci Nathan, je suis sûr que tu as rendu service à beaucoup de garçons dans le monde entier. Merci. Finally, I can paint the bath. And I'm using a specific product for metal paint, water resistant, etc. And it has such a long list of warnings and dangerous signs that I just stopped reading it. And even I now wear a couple of protective gloves and a protective red t-shirt. Hello. Oh. Need goggles. Okay. I feel much safer now, Anna. Thank you. I feel safer. Knowing oh. your knowing your painting skills, Philip. It's everywhere the paint. It's I I, I put too much on the roller, I think. You know, that's it's, fine. It's really stinky. Here. Maybe yes. Here, put this. No, no, this one first. I'm your and goggles. Where are the goggles? I'm your father. This is probably not the type of paint that Greta Thunberg typically uses to repaint her monster truck. Provided she even has a monster truck. Two layers of wadding are now on and it's nice and thick. I can't really feel the edge of the wood, so that's good. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to start cutting out my fabric. So it's going to be a little tricky because it's a striped fabric and that means I need to make sure, I've got to make a seam in the corner here and I need to make sure that my stripes match up. So that's the most complicated part. I went with um, the same Nobilis striped fabric that I chose for upholstering the two tub chairs downstairs for our evening salon. And I actually really love this fabric. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a, let me see. You can see it's like a really nice, chunky, thick cotton, but with a really beautiful weave. So it's perfect, it's nice and thick, perfect for upholstery. And I just love the stripe. I'm very into stripes, so I wear them myself a lot. And yeah, I think it's gonna look great on the, on the headboard. Where are my scissors? Probably underneath here. Are they? Yes. For a second, I got scared that maybe Philip had stolen them again. I'm gonna make a seam in this corner here. So it has to be a diagonal seam and that way we'll get a really nice finish and a nice uh, shape. They seem to match up. So now I can lie this on top of my board and I can and then I can staple it. That's my mask, that's my job. What are you doing? Well, I couldn't help but check out your painting and Philip. You're a lazy painter, sorry. Why am I a lazy painter? Because you haven't painted underneath the bath. 
or in the underneath the feet of the bath. Yeah, but no, nobody's going to look underneath the bath. I should have known better. Yeah. So yes, I'm going to finish it off for you, Philip. Good. Well. See you later. Have fun and let's see if you do a better job. <laughs> Did I look as silly with the mask as you do? Yes. Okay. I had the most horrible day, Anna. I know you did. And... And it's not over yet. And it's not <laughs> over yet. Because I tried to install the bath tubs for the fourth guest room and it didn't work. No. And the situation is so complicated that even my plumber didn't really have a solution. And it's a compatibility problem. So boring that they don't even bother you with it. But just know that I spent the whole day trying to sort it out and tomorrow the guests will come. No, not tomorrow, Monday. Ah. In two days. In two days the guests will come and probably they have a bed, they have a sink. A toilet. They, a toilet, but they don't have a bath. Which is disappointing because we've worked really hard to get the room ready, so... Unless... Unless I come up tomorrow with a solution. <laughs> but that would be almost a miracle. Philip, I don't think you should do that. Well, I'm, cl I'm closing my eyes. No, so. I get you some goggles. Seriously, it looks like you're setting yourself on fire. Surely you should probably be wearing some protective clothing. It smells of burnt, like, I don't know what. Clothing? Meat. Philip, seriously. Uh, Is it too short? Too long. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Try it. Yeah. Okay, you were right. One more time, you were right. I burnt my belly. Did you? Mm -hmm. Let me see. No, it's nothing Philip, to see. Philip, why did you not just... Not, not showing my belly to the world. <laughs> Your dad bod. There's no dad bod, it's a six pack. It's called a six pack. Yeah. Yeah. My six pack is hurting from the burn. Really, how can that go through the t-shirt? Well, yeah, it was a lot of... Uh... Oh. Maybe it made holes.
No, they were already there. They were already there. Yeah, I noticed that when you put it on this morning. All right. There's not so many of your clothes that don't have holes. One, two, three. Okay. Hey. Lift it up a little bit. I would have it like this, you know? Yeah. That's, that's the height yeah. it needs to be. Well, then you just need to make some legs. I need to make some. I have an idea, just some square. Yeah? Something, we come up with something. Okay, well. Ah. <sighs> uh. High five. High five. You know what? We don't tell our guests, but we always leave the plastic on, so it just protects the mattress really nicely. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not the finished room, obviously. <laughs> but the finished bed. Yeah, the finished bed. Kind of. Yeah. Are you sure right? this, the bed fits through the door and into the other room? I hope so. <laughs> it's really comfy despite the plastic. <laughs> what a week, what a day. But I think we did a good job. Yeah. And we are almost ready for the guests in two days, apart from the bathtub. Just the minor, the minor thing. Yeah, I think, I think cleaning, body cleaning is overrated anyway, so. All right. Come on then. What now? I've got to go do bath time. Bath time is story time. Uh, can yeah. I have a bath time too? No, you've got to go and do the vlog. Oh yes. Right. All right. See you later. See you later, my darling. episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching